hello guys welcome back to another video on this video we are going to be making spring roll and the ingredients we need are carrot cabbage and onions yes just these three simple ingredients that's what we're gonna use so let's start off by peeling up the skin of our carrots how you are doing how was your holidays how was your celebration i hope you had an awesome one we had a blast even though christmas new year's was different this year but yeah we had a blast okay i hope this new year brings us everything and even more that we need so if you're new to our channel thank you for tuning in welcome to the family please consider subscribing and be a part of our family and to my old and returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you for always coming through for always watching our video i really appreciate you guys you guys know you are the real mvp okay So I'm using two carrots. Once that is done, I'll set it aside and I will go ahead and start up with the cabbage. This is a quarter of cabbage. I like to use a lot of cabbage because um, it's vegetable. <laughs> yeah, and it's tasty inside the spring roll. So yeah, we're going to chop this all up and set it aside. And next I have half onions, chop this up as well and put it on the side and let's get cooking. So I have my hot pan, I'll add some olive oil, sprinkle a little bit of salt for taste, add my onions. onions is cooked in golden brown I will then add in my um, once it's cooked I will add in my carrots so while I was stirring I realized uh, this pan is way too small so I'm gonna switch to a bigger pan keep going add in my cabbage By the way, I added a little bit of uh, Maggie Cube just to give it uh, that nice taste. So once this is done, I'm going to set aside for it to cool down a little bit. Here is uh, a little bit of flour and I'm going to mix it up with uh, water. Because I'm going to be using this as my glue to stick on the um, spring roll. Yeah, this will be my glue. So I have this leftovers that I used uh, on my previously. I used this during the holidays. 
so I have few left so that's what we're going to be using so I sprayed two on my work surface and add the filling and here is my mixed flour that's gonna stick on there like so and just secure it for me there we go Once they are all done, you, um, you can store these in a Ziploc for up to six months. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping some in my freezer. So the next time I need to use them, I don't need to do all the process of making the stuffing. I already have them done. Seal them in a Ziploc and freeze them. So let's start fr deep frying. So this time I used uh, canola oil and I'll just fry for two to three minutes. You don't want to keep them too long and I'm doing this on a medium heat. fry them until they are golden brown and this takes me about two to three minutes like i said and um yeah look how pretty they look yes guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a huge thumbs up share with your friends and family all those good stuff and I will see you on our next one Thank you.